welcome back to my channel. Do you struggle in January with coming up with fun things to do and activities to do with you and your family? Well, in today's video, I'm going to help you solve that problem. I don't know about you, but December, I have endless lists of activities of things to do with my family. December is so exciting because it's the lead up to that big day, December 25th. Whether it's skating, playing in the snow, building a snowman, going to see Christmas lights, going to see family, shopping, you know, you name it. There's so many things to do leading up to Christmas. Then January hits and I go, oh, that I lose all motivation. I lose my excitement because if you're Canadian like me, we are just going into that big, deep, cold winter months where you can't leave your house. And let's be honest, given the circumstances of what we are all going through right now, we really can't leave our houses and we really can't go see anybody or go anywhere or do anything fun. So I've come up with a list of 20 things that you and your family can do that are so exciting that bring some fun into January and will help this long month go by a little bit quicker. If you're new to my channel, my name is Angela and I like to do videos on all things about motherhood, family, lifestyle, and homemaking. So I would love it if you would click that like and subscribe button down below and also hit that bell for notifications. So let's get into this video because trust me, if you're anything like me, I really struggle in January. January is not my favorite month. It actually feels like it goes on and on and on. It feels like the longest month out of the year. I go into January, I'm motivated, I know exactly where I'm headed, and I just lose steam. I'm gonna turn this month around for all of us and I have some really fun activities for us to do. So if you see me looking down, I am gonna reference some of my notes here. So the first thing that you can do is go camping in your living room. So I actually have fun with this with Ava a lot of times and I will set up like blankets on the floor. I'll move our coffee table out of the way. I'll set up blankets. We can make a fort. We can I'll, I'll even like pack a picnic and we can have it on the floor together. We can dim the lights. We can light the fire in the corner and really set up a nice atmosphere. It's just something different. Go camping in your living room, pull out those sleeping bags, pull out your tent if you even have one, bring out your thermoses, really create that camping atmosphere and everything that we love about camping is that there's nothing to do. There's no social media, there's no cell phones, no iPads, nothing. It's just you and your family connecting and making the most out of it. Activity number two is have a fun family game night. So I'm excited because Ava's three and she's just now getting into the concept of games and family games and how to follow the rules. My cousin actually handed down a bunch of games that are appropriate for families and kids because her kids are now growing up so quickly and they don't need them anymore. We actually spent one day for five hours playing games and it was so much fun. Ava would do her own game, we would play with her, then Mirka and I would do a game and she would just like have fun playing with all the cards. It was so nice to do and it's really nice just to spend some time and connect. Activity number three, if anybody knows me, I love scavenger hunts, I love car scavenger hunts, going outside, Christmas light scavenger, you name it, I love scavenger hunts. So make up a winter scavenger hunt. Now, in my past videos, especially when I first started out this channel, Ava and I did a lot of scavenger hunts, so I will link to those videos right here so you guys can go back and look at what we did. But wintertime scavenger hunts, especially after a snow, you can make this scavenger hunt whatever you want. You can even get in the car and drive around and make your own scavenger hunt. So I will link to that video here. Use your imagination, get outside, because sometimes when you get outside, you always feel so much better. Activity number four. Now this is something I've already mentioned in this video about doing at Christmas time, but why can't we do it in January? I find so many activities we just associate with Christmas and then as of January, like, oh, you can't do that anymore. Build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? I'm not gonna sing it, nobody needs to hear me sing. But get outside and build a snowman, especially you have that perfect snowman building weather and building snow, right? We all know there's a certain kind of snow that you need to build a snowman. Get outside and build a snowman together. Activity number five. So if you are able to get outside and have a fire pit, why don't you go outside and roast some marshmallows together? During the summertime, we always love having fires with our family and friends roasting marshmallows, sharing stories, just sitting and sharing that quality time. Why can't you do it during the winter? I get it, if it's minus 30, don't do it. But 
but if it's a really mild day out, why don't you go outside during the day, light a fire and roast some marshmallows or even roast some hot dogs over the fire. That would be so lovely and just really a different way to celebrate winter. Number six is have an indoor picnic. I love going on picnics with my family. I love packing a picnic, but we have really nowhere to go right now. So I'm gonna to link to a video I did during the springtime when it was a really rainy season. We had nowhere to go and Ava and I had a picnic inside. It's kind of along the same lines of camping inside, but go to somewhere else in your house, pack up your picnic basket, some sandwiches, some salads, maybe thermoses of soup, just really anything to make it exciting. I love picking like some vegetables and dip and a fruit salad. Oh my gosh, I'm totally gonna do that tonight. But pack up a picnic and go somewhere else in your house. Okay, number seven, and this is something we like to do quite regularly. If you've been a long time subscriber, you know, pizza party Friday night, pizza party Friday night. So during Vlogmas, I actually made our homemade pizza dough recipe. We have an amazing pizza oven outside. Sometimes it's too cold to use it. So I actually did it in the oven. I'll link to that video here so you guys can check out that recipe. But having a pizza night is so much fun. And you know what? I am down with it. I order pizza all the time. Pizza is like my number one favorite food. But make your own pizza dough. Get all the ingredients out, lay out like, like a pizza bar, and you can all make your own individual pizzas or just buy some pizza shells. You know, nobody's saying you have to make the pizza dough. If you don't wanna to go to that work, I do not blame you, and I do not do it all the time. But get some pizza shells, get out all the ingredients, have some fun, and make your own pizzas at home. Okay, number eight, to go along with that pizza night, have a movie night. So how great would that be so that you all have your homemade pizzas, you all settle in in front of the TV and you all have a movie night. And then maybe what else you can do is every weekend, somebody else in your family can pick the movie. So if it was Ava's choice, we would be watching Minions or The Grinch every single day. But you know what, maybe Mira can pick out a movie, I can pick out a movie, and that's fun to row have that on rotation, especially if you have multiple kids. Give each kid a chance or a day of the week that where they can pick out the movie. Settle in, have your pizza, oh my gosh. I'm getting excited for January now. This is gonna be a good month. Activity number nine, bake. Why can't you bake cookies in January? Why can't you bake that bread in January? Why can't you bake those brownies? There is nothing saying you cannot continue baking into January. I know with lockdown, everybody started like getting on that bread trend and baking sourdough bread, but why can't you make a homemade batch of chocolate chip cookies? And nice, warm cookies, comforting things, anything that really just connects you, I find, being in the kitchen with Ava brings up so many lovely memories. One of our favorite things to do together. So get in the kitchen and bake something new. Tip number 10. So Ava got a karaoke machine from Santa last year and she loves it. She doesn't necessarily sing along to songs, she kind of makes up her own, but have your own karaoke night. There are so many options out there. Even on YouTube, there's so many channels that just have songs playing with the lyrics. Make up your own karaoke night, get into it, dress up in funny costumes. You know, everybody can sign up. That would be awesome to do. I think Ava and I, and we will round up Merrick into this. I think we're gonna have a karaoke night. So tip number 11 is have a dress up night. So for Christmas, Ava's Mimi gave her a giant box of dress up clothes. Of course, Ava's just rocking that Elsa costume every single day but everybody can get into it and dress up and have a theme night. That would be so much fun, you know, to have dinners and you all come dressed up like Downton Abbey or you can all dress up like cowboys. You know, anything is possible. Have a dress up night and have some fun. Tip number 12 is get outside. Go for a walk and explore. Walk around your city, walk around your backyard, go for a walk to a park. I find even like yesterday, Ava and I took a walk to the mailbox. It took us half an hour to get there and back our mailbox is quite far away. And we had so much fun. And then that way she had a really good sleep because she has such a nice long walk. Get outside, go explore, bring your camera and maybe make a game out of it that you have to take pictures and you can make funny pictures or take pictures of something new or exciting that your little ones can remember. So just get outside. Okay, number 13, and this is a biggie, go on a trip and travel somewhere new. Now, we're not actually gonna be traveling, but who says you can't bring the tropics to your house? 
why don't you have a Hawaii night? And you can all put on your leis and you can have even Hawaiian food and Hawaiian music playing. Mexico, we love going to Mexico. Mexican food, Mexican music. We can all dress up like we're at a Mexican resort and have so much fun with it. Disney night. Oh my gosh, Ava would love that. You know, like line up all of her Disney characters at the table. We can have like Mickey waffles, oh, and Dole Whip. Have the Disneyland soundtrack playing. Even online, Ava and I will spend hours looking at Disney parades. Come on, we can go to Disneyland right here and make the best out of it. So go on that trip. Number 14 is go on a night walk. During Christmas time, Ava would love going outside with her flashlight to look at all the Christmas lights, but that doesn't mean to say she can't go outside now. So at night, we can go out with her flashlight and Mirak and I can point out the different stars to her. We can point out how the moon looks or how everything looks different in the nighttime. Get your flashlight and go outside and make some memories. Okay, number 15, and this is one of Ava and I's favorite activities, is to make some bird feeders. And we've done this twice already. So I'll link to the videos here. We did it once in the spring and then again during Christmas time because we wanted our birds to have a treat. Making bird feeders is so easy. All you need to do is go outside, collect some big pine cones, have some fine bird seed and some peanut butter. So it can't get easier than that. So get your little ones and go outside and make some bird feeders. Okay, number 16, have a tea party. So Ava and I had a tea party, I'll link to it right here, and it was so much fun. We got dressed up in our fanciest dresses. I made little tea sandwiches. We had like cucumber and cheese sandwiches. We had little baby muffins. We had some tea. We played the Downton Abbey soundtrack. It was so nice it was so different it you know what it took a while to set everything up but we had a riot so have a fancy tea party number 17 and this goes without say just go outside and play in the snow if you've had a lot of snow get that sled ava and i and mirik went sledding the other day well ava went sledding and then old mom here had to jump on that sled and i had so much fun you know, sometimes Ava just wants me to pull around and that's a workout in itself, but just go outside, play in the snow, have a snowball fight, make snow angels, be a kid again and show your little one that you still know how to play. Okay, number 18, make some hot chocolate, get in your car and go for a drive. During Christmas, Mirak and I and Ava, we made some hot chocolate and we drove around and looked at all of the Christmas lights. What's to say we still can't do that now? I'm not saying there's gonna be Christmas lights up, but make some hot chocolate and go drive downtown and look at all the big buildings and how they're lit up. Or go to a lookout point in your city if you have one and look at how beautiful the city looks lit up. Or just drive around your neighborhood and find some new places or somewhere new. There's nothing to say that you still can't put on your favorite tunes in your car, have some hot chocolate and have some fun. Okay. Tip number 19 is have a reading afternoon. Blankets on the floor, pillows, cozy music, coffee, tea, some of those cookies that you just baked, a stack of books, no social media. Curled up on the floor, what a perfect afternoon. That would be so lovely to do and I know that I love doing those days with Ava. And activity number 20 is have a pajama day. We did that during Christmas and it was so nice some days to just lay around in our jammies. Who says you can't do that in January? I think I'm gonna extend all of Christmas into January. Christmas has so many lovely traditions that just center around the simple things and that's what I think I'm gonna carry forward into 2021 is activities don't have to be complicated. The simpler, the better. That's what Christmas is about. Baking, movies pajama day, music, family, connecting, going for a drive, going for a walk. See how simple those things are? Why can't we do that in January as well? So I know that I'm going to be using all of these family activities to get us through this long month of January to help us have some happiness and joy in our house, especially when it's really cold and we can't go outside. So let me know down in the comments below, what are some family activities that you guys do during the winter months that I can maybe incorporate? And make sure you guys also tag me on Instagram if you use one of these ideas. I would love to see you guys interact with this video. Let's create a 
community here. Let's create some positive and head into 2021 in a really great headspace. I hope that this video helped you figure out some fun family activities that you guys can incorporate with your family. And I want you to know how grateful I am for you guys sticking around and watching this video. So thank you so much guys and I will see you in my next one. Mwah! Bye!